Hey everyone, Nick Kratikos of Nick's Seasonal Decor, and it's been a few days since I've been live. So as some of you guys may have seen, uh, we've had some, you know, crazy scary situations. Yaya actually hasn't been feeling too well. Uh, she was in the hospital overnight. We did take her home the next day, and she was okay for the remainder of the day. They ran their tests. They did a stress test. They, you know, did all kinds of things, tons of blood work every two hours, and it turns out it's nothing with, to do with her heart. Uh, so they felt comfortable sending her home. This morning, Dad woke me up at about 6 uh, in the morning uh, to go sit with Yaya because she was not feeling well and she was having a difficult time breathing. So uh, we were going to take her to the hospital today. And, you know, none of the specialists are there. And they did tell us that it's not something of an immediate concern. Uh, so she is going first thing Monday and she has a bunch of testing scheduled. So I just want to thank you all so very, very much for all of the well wishes, all of the support, all of the love, uh, that you guys have sent our way. You know, we've read all the comments to Yaya and she was just, you know, gleaming with, glo uh, joy. She was just so happy, uh, and so thankful as we, you know, all are. Uh, so it's really, really nice. You guys know that I don't have a big family. Um, not a big family and not too many friends, but you guys make up for that. You guys are, you know, family, you're our friends and the support you've shown us has just been incredible. It's made us feel amazing. So just know that it's reciprocated and we love you guys just as much as you love us. So that's the biggest update I can currently give you. Um, as soon as we have more progress and more updates, you guys will know, of course, uh, as soon as I find out any more additional information. So we are going live a little bit early today uh, to, you know, just get it out of the way. That way I can head home. I'm the only one at the shop right now. I packed up the remainder of your orders. They were sent out and I'm going to head home and watch a movie with Yaya. So I figured tonight we would mix it up and design a strawberry wreath. So as you're coming in, if you're watching the replay, let me know. Uh, I always like to see who comes back. You guys already know that by now. So let's open up our sign. Another thing too is if you haven't texted us yet, make sure to do so. The number is in the description of the video. Uh, item number of MD0341. So we actually sent these in our bargain boxes two months ago. Uh, and we're going to start off bargain boxes again. I'm thinking in June. Uh, we just don't have the supplies uh, or the space for all of that right now. But come June, we'll start that up again. So the sign says Farmer's Market, strawberries. We did run out, but we did get some more. So I think the best way of securing this or the best wreath frame for tonight is going to be an 18-inch oval. So we have these ovals in stock. We got tons of grapevines, actually. Um, in the last week or so, I think like 500 14-inch grapevines have left. So 14-inch rounds that are $5.75, those are going fast, but everything else we got plenty of. So I'm just taking a length of 22-gauge florist wire, and I like using the wire as opposed to pipe cleaners, because if I see the wire a little bit, it doesn't bother me. But if I see pipe cleaners and, you know... <laughs> Anyway, I, I just don't like pipe cleaners, so we're going to use the wire. These signs are pre-drilled, so there's a hole up top and down below. Here's what our 18-inch ovals look like, and I think I want to place this slightly off kilter and slightly towards the right. That way we have enough room to secure our bow and all of our florals. So let's just place those wires through the grapevine. There we go. And I want to thank you all for those of you that have sent messages and comments. Uh, as much as I would love to respond to everybody, you guys know it's just not possible, but I do appreciate it. You know, when things happen, it really shows you who cares when they reach out. So you guys definitely did that, uh, and it does really mean a lot. So there's the sign down below. Now we got to do the same process up top. Hey, Annette. Thank you, Lavelle. So we'll take this pipe cleaner, or this wire, not a pipe cleaner. I just got done saying I don't like using pipe cleaners for this. Feed it up top. So today it was pouring out, you guys. It was pouring. Uh, I actually made a pit stop to Michael's earlier, and it was hard to even see. And then when I came up to the warehouse, it's about 10, 15 minutes away, it wasn't raining. And then it started up again, and I think now it's just drizzling. So hopefully you can hear me okay. Let me know if you can. I'm cutting off the wires and just poking them right back into the frame to keep them from scratching 
me, my customer, my customer's door, and all of that good stuff. So that might be a little bit too much of an off kilter, but we can figure that out later. If we need to move it, we always can. Thank you, Barb. Thank you guys for the shares. I appreciate it. You know that helps me reach and inspire others, which has been my main goal. So these are two new ribbons that we got in last week. So here is the one and a half inch strawberry with the black and white gingham. How pretty is that? Isn't that cool? And this we have in two and a half, one and a half, and probably three other strawberry ribbons. RGE 1084X6. And this, this is 5 8 inch wide ribbon. So this is a wired gingham, and I love it. I'm so happy we finally got some in. Item number of RJ206549. And I thought these two would look nice. So we got to be careful with how big of a bow we make. Let's see, do I like that being that off kilter? No, I don't. So before we even get into it, I already know I don't like that. So let's just snip it off. And then we can just rewire it. So I do want to make sure I remove that wire. Don't be lazy. Take that wire out. It's as simple as just cutting it right off. And we'll bring it a little bit more towards the middle. Slightly off kilter is fine for me, but <laughs> I don't want my sign to be sideways, right? So I'll come back in. I like to tie my wire around the sign before I do anything. And then we'll secure it right here. Make sure you have an ample amount of grapevine behind it. See if that's a little bit better, in which it is. So then I'll just tighten it. And when it comes to the back of my reeds, you know, we get a lot of questions saying, like, how do you clean them up? And I know other designers have you know, thorough video showing you how to do that. I, I don't think I've ever actually recorded one because I very rarely, if ever, need to. You know, cutting the pipe cleaner, removing the wires, poking them back in, that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, when it comes to florals and greenery, the way I angle them in really prevents me from having to clean up the back. So I've showed you guys in the past, we're going to get to using these. Look at how pretty these strawberry uh, flowers and strawberries are. And this looks so real. This is actually what strawberries look like. But when I take a stem, sometimes I see lives and it makes me cringe because I see designers stick the stem in like this and then bend it down to shape. You always want to take your stems and angle them parallel with the grapevine. And in doing so, you don't have anything ever sticking out the back. So just keep that in mind. If you're a beginner with florals and even if you've designed with florals for years, it makes your life easier not having to do that. So let's make our bow. I think a funky bow would look best. So we'll take this, again, not going too big. Hey, Lori, nice to see you. How is Yaya? Yaya is feeling okay. Um, you know, this morning, I feel like mornings just for anybody when they're sick or, or when you know, have any issues, you seem to feel a little worse, right? So Yaya, at six this morning, dad woke me up. She was not feeling well. Um, and throughout the day, she's gotten a little bit better. But thank you guys for, for asking. I really appreciate it. So there's our first loop. We're going to come back in with the narrow gingham. And yes, this narrow gingham is wired, but you never want to make loops too big with thinly gauged wire ribbon. You know, it'll hold if you create a, a decent size bow, but if you're trying to do a tree topper with this 5 8 inch ribbon, you're not going to get the effect you really want. So the thicker the wire, the bigger the bow. I think we'll do two or three of each. Coming back in with another strawberry. So there's our second. Let's do our second gingham. work in our third loop. You could stop at two, but I want to do three just to bulk it up a little bit more. We're not going to be working in too many flowers and too many, you know, different types of greenery. So to compensate for that, let's do a slightly thicker, larger bow. Well, not so much larger, but a little bit more full. Now our final gingham. Let's 
and cut our final tail. So now, should we work in some longer tails? We can decide later. I'm not going to do it quite yet. So our bow is constructed. Before we do anything, let's secure. Oop, can you guys hear me still? <laughs> Sorry, my battery was low. Let me know if you guys can still hear me. But another thing, I was live a little while ago, maybe an hour or so ago, showing off the newest design. How many of you guys saw that beautiful bunny wreath? At the end of this video, I'll show you guys it again, and then I'll kind of do my best to walk over to the ribbon wall, because that ribbon wall is not going to be a ribbon wall anymore. I'm sick of looking at it. There's probably 500 rolls of ribbon there, if not more, that I've accumulated over the years. I haven't honestly touched any of them since I installed that wall. So what we're going to do is we're going to send a bunch to those of you that text us. If you've text us, uh, texted us once, you don't need to text us again. It's not required. We just choose random people. You know, if you signed up for text alerts on day one, you're still eligible. And then we're going to send a bunch more to our customers that purchase from NickSeasonalDecor.com. So if you see some, we actually got two emails this week, <laughs> which was really funny. Hey, Nick, I got to send something back. It's not my order. Um, I didn't order it. And, and me and Alex were like, what? So then they sent the number for tracking, and it turned out to be a mystery box um, and a couple free rolls of ribbon. It's a ribbon that we don't have in stock. So me and Alex were like, are you sure you got that from us? So don't be surprised if you find some, some things you didn't order. All right, finishing up the dovetails. I think that's all of up. Oh, we have one more. So when it comes to designing anything, any signs with words on it, how many of you guys know my, my little philosophy when it comes to dealing with that? I do things a little bit different. I'm very, very picky about covering words on my signs, and I definitely don't like to do that. So we got to be careful with how big of a bow we create. And that's the perfect size because it's not covering up any words. Hey, Danita. Okay. And if we want to add some tails, we can do that later on. But yeah, that bunny wreath that we, we made today, oh, I love it. It's got to be, it's definitely my favorite this year by far. I think that gingham looks perfect in that. What do you think? Yes, don't cover words. When I cut my wire, my ribbons, so make sure your, your scissors are really, really sharp. Certain ribbons, they'll fray like crazy and the ends look kind of botched if you use a dull pair of scissors. Uh, just make sure it's a clean, kind of hard cut. That way there's no damage to the ends. Certain ribbons, it's just, you know, impossible. Uh, some ribbons can be a little bit more difficult. And no matter how clean of a cut you do, sometimes it's just, you know, in the nature of the ribbon to either fray or look a little funky on the ends. So I'm trying to think of any that, I don't think we have any, you know, right around me that do that. But those ribbons, they can be a real pain in the behind. So, all right, I held this up. This is a product that we have in stock. It's a plastic variegated tea leaf bush, 17 inches, MTF 20434. It's been sitting up here for a few days, and I'm sick of looking at it. So let's snip it off, and we'll work this in. So we have a lot of grapevine on this side, and I don't want to see that much grapevine. Let's work in a little more glue. Again, stick those stems in at an angle, and you won't have any issues of it going through the back, and you won't need to clean the back if you do it this way. Oh, forget that. A little piece popped off. You can also break them in half. So let's snip this one down. See, now we have two pieces. Hey, LaDonna. Hey, Caroline. All right few more pieces but yeah the worst part <clears throat> about Yaya being in the hospital 
is she doesn't leave the house, you know? So honestly, that was her first time leaving the house overnight, not leaving the house. She's not that much of a hermit, uh, but leaving overnight in probably over 10 years, probably closer to 15. I think, I can't think of another circumstance where she's left the house since I was, you know, 12, 13. Uh, so it was just extra, extra sad. And, you know, she's a champ. But they had a difficult time drawing her blood. This one nurse, the rest of the nurses were incredible. But this one nurse destroyed her arm, which I'm not too happy about. But every other nurse didn't have any issues finding her veins. But she's home now. Let's hope everything goes well. And when we have more testing updates, we'll let you know. So here we have these strawberry picks. How perfect are these? Let's work these in. When working these in, you guys, I want to make sure that we're not going to cover them up too much. So we want to see those strawberries. So be careful with your placement. Our first one, we got to stick it here. There's no question about it. There's our first one. I think we have a total of four. Yeah, four of them we got. Here's our second one. But on a lighter topic, who's excited about all that ribbon? You know, I don't know why I initially didn't just say, you know, forget it <laughs> and just give it away. But now that I know that I haven't touched it, honestly, in like five, six months, maybe once in a while I'll grab a roll. You know, I, I have no need for it. So we're going to give all that ribbon away. There's our third one. And then our fourth one, or maybe we'll just do three. Kind of like how that's in a triangular format. Let's just do three. I think that's enough of those. What do you guys think? And of course, we got to work in some yarrow. So yesterday, I posted a video of us creating a sunflower topiary. How many of you guys saw that? I premiered it last night. Um, <laughs> and this is the, the yarrow where, I don't know if you guys saw, but I was cutting a stem that we used as kind of like our dowel for our sunflower topiary and this is the flower so we just remove those flowers might as well use the one I already cut into that way in case we don't use those you guys can get them MTF 22648 we only have like 30 of these left these have been flying I think because I use them so much I'm probably the one that's been <laughs> using them but I like that kind of soft cream color and I think it's going to be the perfect flower for this so just lift up and place them in. We have one left that we'll place up top. What do you guys think of that so far? Do you like it? Loved it. Love the topiary. Thank you, Sue. Yeah, hands up if you guys think this is turning out cute. And don't be afraid of trimming up your tails. If you trim your tails, start slow and start small. Don't cut off too much at any given time. You can always add to it, but you can't take it away. No. What was I trying to say? You can always take it away, but you can't add to it. That makes more sense, right? <laughs> so small increments. It might take you four days to cut, but you're better off doing that than wasting your ribbon. So there we have that. We'll just play around with it. We have these leaves from it. I hate being wasteful, so let's just take these leaves off now. Would love some ribbon. Hey, Jackie, nice to see you. Yeah, who wants some free ribbon? So you don't need to order from us. We'll still choose random people that text us, so you don't have to be a customer in any way, shape, or form. Uh, but the majority of the rolls, we are just going to throw into each order over the next, I don't know, however long that ribbon lasts us. Okay, yeah, that looks much better with those little leaves. This tail's still a little long. The shorter you can keep the gingham, the better off you are, because that gingham has a wire, but the wire is substantial enough for the width of the ribbon. So the longer you cut it, the more it's going to flop, which isn't a bad thing. So now... 
let's try something. If we like it, we like it. If we don't, we don't have to do it. Right? You never know until you try. So I'm going to take the strawberry ribbon. I'm going to place it underneath. Hey, Michelle. Underneath the gingham. I'm going to pinch. And this week we got some questions asking about our pick machine. So that just means some of you guys are going back and watching old, old videos. Because... I haven't touched my steel pick machine since we've been in here. And we've been in here six months. Our six-month anniversary at the warehouse was the 13th, so a couple of days ago. And I haven't even brought it over. So this is how I like to secure some tails occasionally, which is just a little pipe cleaner that I dip in my glue skillet. I lift up my bow. And because I want that simulated effect that it's all connected I place it really close underneath. And that creates that cohesive look so that it looks like it's all a part of the same design. How many of you guys have seen me do this before? If you're a Wreath Community member, you see this constantly. It's my favorite technique. We'll do that again about here. And I think that little piece of greenery, is it still on my table? What did I do with it? I throw it out? I threw it out. We'll save that little piece. It's going to work in our favor. We're going to be able to cap off our design. So now I'll just take a scrap stem, paint some hot glue on the pipe cleaner. Be generous, you guys. Figure out where I want it. And poke it in. Then what we can do is just cut a length off of tails. And then you can do whatever you want. So let's curl these up to get them out of the way. You guys have seen this technique before? Yes, that looks awesome with the ribbon there. Thank you. So don't forget, too, the wreath community opens up the end of this month. I am so excited to see some new faces. And if you've been planning to join, let me know. Last time we opened the doors was Black Friday. And the next time we open the doors won't be until August, September. I don't know. It's going to be a while. We're going to do a lot of Christmas, fall, and summer over the next few months. We've already done so much spring. It's kind of crazy. We have an everyday design we're going to be designing tomorrow. And then Monday for date night, we're going to be designing a lavender wreath. But there's not going to be any lavender, so it's this beautiful, dusty gray color, and I'm in love with it. So that's what we're going to do Monday. So I'm going to do another little loop. I like doing one directly in the middle, and then I like doing one offset to the side. So we'll just take our wreath, figure out where we want this. Grab another pipe cleaner. We'll just cut it in half, like so. Ribbon would be great, says Marilyn. Yeah, you guys have treated me so well all the years. Might as well give back. I'm not going to use it. And if I can give you one tip for those of you that are just beginning you know, with your business or just beginning to hoard up on craft supplies, be careful. <laughs> Because I always thought the more the merrier, which is true in a sense if you got the space and the budget. You know, if you can find things on sale or on clearance, and I'm just tying this pipe cleaner on the side. If you're able to find things on clearance or on sale and save them for the next year, it's always a good idea. But what I've learned over the years is to, again, be careful doing so. Because it can creep up on you. And, you know, when you purchase a hundred of something when it's on sale or on clearance... It might take you four or five years to use it, or if you're like me, you might never get around to using it. So we'll curl up these tails as well. And it's going to look a little funky on the table, but trust me, trust the process, you guys. I might trim up those ribbons a little bit, but this is a technique I've been doing since I was 17. I think the first time I premiered this technique was on Home Talk. 
How many of you guys have seen me on Home Talk? Every, every week or whenever I'm on Home Talk, I always forget to share it on my business page. So I got to do better with that because we have some great ideas that we feature there. And there we have a little strawberry wreath. Would you explain the wreath community? Oh, thank you, Teresa. Sorry, let me catch up. And what that means and what we do. So the wreath community is a separate um, group. It is a paid group, so it's $25 a month. And we do between 16 and 18 new tutorials each and every month in the group. 16 to 18, usually. Um, and you have access to every video we've done. So I opened the wreath community in October 2017. So I was just a baby. I was 17 then. And we've done hundreds, thousands of tutorials in the group. So you have instant access to all of them. We also do a monthly critique at the end of the month. We do 101s. Every Monday we go live in the group at 8 Eastern. We call it date night, and it's so much fun. We have one more of these. Should we work it in? I don't think it needs it. Well... Yeah, I still don't think it needs it. You know, if we do individual tutorials, when we get around to listing them, they're usually $14.99 and up. So it's definitely a lot more economical. And if you're looking to have more in-depth tutorials, you know, that group is my pride and joy. So I, I explain every single detail, every step along the way. And the majority of the tutorials are actually pre-recorded. So they're recorded on my camera. They're edited down in the highest resolution, and you can refer back to them whenever you would like. So more information about that at wreathcommunity.com. And I think that is going to do it. So now what I'll do is I'll hang this up and take a picture of it. Oh, here's another little piece of greenery. Might as well use that. And I'll just poke that on the side. So I like to cover up where my ribbon meets the pipe cleaner, which meets the wreath. Uh, so I just take a little bit, a bit of greenery, I take a flower, you could even take a strawberry and stick it right there if you wanted to. We'll save this because I do want to get more of these. I was only able to find four, uh, and I want to cover an entire grapevine with the sign in the middle and these all the way around. I think that'll look really pretty. And I want to do a mesh wreath with these too. So next week we have 80 different types of work reeds coming in, um, all different colors. Dad kind of went crazy with that. And he also went crazy with mesh. So we have 80 different styles of mesh coming in as well. Um, so dad, dad heard you guys. He knew you wanted mesh and he ordered it. So thank you again for all of the well wishes for Yaya. I'll keep you all updated. Show some love if you like this design. Thank you for the likes, the shares, and the comments. Uh, and thank you for just, you know, supporting me, my business, and my family. Uh, you guys mean the world to us. Make sure you follow us on Instagram. God forbid we lose our Facebook page. We still want to be able to contact you and inspire you, and as well as YouTube. So subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do have a TikTok. I don't post much, but we're going to start doing that too, as well as a Pinterest. You can find supplies available at nickseasonaldecor.com. Free shipping over 119 What else can I tell you? Wreathcommunity.com opens up March 31st to new members. If you're an existing member, I know there's been some questions about that you're locked in nothing's going to happen it's just for new members i think that turned out so cute so once again love you all text me and i'll see you tomorrow bye you guys